All right, today we're gonna go through Jun Tribal Dragons, all right? I'm gonna show you the deck, the deck in modern. This is gonna get you far, all right? First, we're gonna show you the lands, the land count. All right, one, two, three, four. We got six, three, and three for the basic lands, all right? It's gonna re rely heavily on your mountains, so you wanna get most of those. You got your two, two, two. You got Rootbound Crag, Dragon Skull Summit, Woodland Summit. You gotta get a little bit of variety in there. You got two fetch lands. Bloodmire, Bloodstained Mire, Wooded Foothills. Why only two fetch lands? It's all I could afford. <laughs> so if you could afford, why, what would you run instead? Definitely add one, one more each of those. Now what would you, you take out? Pounds. Okay. One forest, one mountain. It'd be good. Next, we're gonna go on to the spells. You got your four terminates, a little bit of board control, very staple, take out whatever you need. Some too big, get rid of it. Some just bugging you, get rid of it. Just get rid of that one one that's in the way. Got a little bit of trouble with artifacts and enchantments, destructive revelry. Do a little damage and take it out, Clutch card right there. Clutch draw. You maxed out on those, huh? Hell yeah. Cultivates. You can never have too much land. Get it early. Ramp up. Staple right there. That's staple. Any green deck. So you right want there. it early, but you only run two. So you don't want to see it that early. You don't want to see it that early. Now, you need a little bit of board. Board control. Get a baby wipe. A little bit or a little bit more. I saw we had four terminates earlier. Well, this is for baby wiping. You gotta wipe the board. You know, you're running dragons, so it's not gonna affect you too much. Clears out the rest of the board. Staple for dragons right there. Now we got some enchantments. We got two crucible of fires, gotta pump them dragons. Turn our little one ones into four fours. They're gonna be crying. Dragon Tempest. This is a clutch. Clutch. Any flying creatures instantly get haste. So your four fours that enter in, they're they're swinging. Do we run a lot of flying creatures in the deck? Everything's flying except for like two creatures. And then if they're dragons, you're dealing burn damage on top of it for every dragon you have. That sounds like just money on that card. Now this pushing the deck, pushing the deck with this. Chain, only only two though. Changing your mana combination. Push the deck. So if you say you open up with a bad combination of mana, you draw this. Well, now all of a sudden you got whatever mana you need. So would you would you run four? Or you just couldn't find room for two couldn't more. Couldn't find room for two more though. I would love to love to find room for two more though. Now, here's your planeswalker, Sarkin Vol. You kind of want to base it around him. You you want to get that plus one right off the bat to remove an annoying target. You're not going to get to plus six very often because they're gunning for you. You play Sarkin, they're gunning for you. Now, whatever it was we're waiting for, the creatures. This is the backbone right here. Four Dragon Lord Servants. Cheap, good defense, and make your dragons cost less. Staple. Four dragon's eggs, cheap, good defense, defenders, and the best part is, they die, you get tokens. Comes in good with that dragon tempest, because you're getting burn damage for the egg and for the token. And they're a staple, too. They're a staple. Four thunderbreak regents. Fairly cheap at four mana piece, four fours, and a great ability. Whenever any dragon you control is targeted, the opponent takes three. We got two broodmate dragons. I'd like to tr probably trade these in for something a little better, but these are still pretty good. Six mana, you get two four fours. You know, you get a little bit of haste on that. You're swinging for eight damage. So you seem to be running a lot of black mana for only four cards in the deck that only require one black mana each. 
Any reason behind that? You never know when you're gonna need that black mana. That's what the Manamorphosis is for, though. All right, probably one of the better cards in the deck. Four Dragon Brood Mothers. Six mana, not too shabby. The color combination's a little. That's why you got more uh, more mountains than anything else. Four fours, flying. You get over all them pesky defenders. The ability, though, every turn, you get a 1-1 one, one token. Every These bad turn? Ones, every turn, you get... Even your opponents. Even your opponents' turn. You get these little bad boys. Flying 1-1s, one, devour 2. You get a stack of these, devour them. You get 8 counters, you devour 4. It's Sounds great. pretty game-winning. Pretty game-winning. Plus, they just look badass. Look at that picture. That is sweet. Got a little, got a little, flex your muscles here with this one. Seven mana, a little bit costly, six, six. All right, people are going to be shitting bricks when you throw this on the field. Flying, whenever you deal combat damage, six damage to each creature they control. That's another baby wipe right there. You're just clearing boards all over the place with this. Would that be like the nickname for this deck? Clearing boards? Clearing boards. Not baby wipe. Now. Dragon Lord Colagon. He'd be cool to have another one of. Six mana, flying in haste. All your other creatures have haste. And if your opponent plays a creature or a planeswalker that he's already got in the graveyard, 10 damage. Game's half over then. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I'd say he's pretty damn stable. I gotta give me a couple more of him. So how long have you been playing this deck? Let's see, it's been going on, I want to say, eight, nine years now. Change it constantly. New sets come out. You found much success with it? Any tournaments? Any local events? Tons of success. Gone to one Friday Night Magic. Ended up one in five on that one. Took it to a, a Hudson local event. Ended up one in four on that one. Yeah, so pretty consistent all around. Man. So it's still a work in progress, you say? Well, no, no magic decks complete. There's only you can only ever go up. Change is the name of the game. A new set comes out, you gotta check it out. You gotta see what you can adjust, take out, add in. Change, gotta gotta keep up with it. Gotta keep up with it. All right, man. What's your name again? Name is Billy Motherfucking McConaughey. All right, thanks for the deck tech, man. Good luck in the future. Same to you.